Good morning, beautiful people of the internet. I hope that all of you are having a fantastic morning. This morning, I decided that I wanted to make some coffee and get to drawing something. I haven't really sat down and drawn something in a little while, so I just wanted to, you know, get my juices flowing and start my day off right. And recently, I even bought myself some Sharpies and Prismacolors, so I'm really excited to utilize those today and just create something new. I love my frog mug, and that is why I chose it today. I just love how he looks back at me when I take a sip from his big old bulby belly. And today, I'm just having sugar coffee and like a little bit of creamer and now that it's ready i'm ready to draw so i have to skim through the last drawings that have been done in my book and start on a whole fresh page this is one of my favorite parts but also one of the hardest parts of starting a drawing is just staring at that blank page and figuring out what you want to do with it or what you want to add or where you want to go with it sometimes the best thing to do is just not even think about it and just pick a color it doesn't matter what color it doesn't matter crayon marker sharpie color pencil whatever it may be you just gotta start doing it so today i started off with an orange marker and i created like swirl circles i guess and after i drew a couple of those i was kind of like they kind of look like flowers so like why not turn them into flowers so i decided to use a, like a complementary color to orange After I added some detail to the center of the flowers, like little random squiggly lines, and I used a Sharpie to do so, I start to work on like the stems of the flowers. And at first I thought, oh, let me use like a light pink. But then I decided that it was way too light for what I was going for. And I like, I didn't want to do like a generic green, but I ended up picking turquoise because I just couldn't do the light pink it just did not pop enough for me so I go over everything that I sketched out with the pink um, which was good because it gave me some sort of guideline I begin to add gray to the sides of the stems just to give a little bit of a shadow effect. Now I start to work on the inside of the lines and I just got Prismacolor pencils recently so I was really excited to use it to shade and get these petals looking right and it was doing a really good job. I really love how Prismacolor colors are really soft and uh, I barely have to press down and it starts to add on layers of the color and what's so great is if you do layers of color they really blend together really smoothly and nicely and that's why Prismacolors are so much better than than like just Crayola and trust me I used to be hardcore like Crayola can do anything and which is true you can do anything with Crayola especially if you're just trying to do a simple drawing or a simple little doodle or sketch or whatever it doesn't really matter what products you really really use like I feel like any artist can make any product work for them but I came to find that Prisma color pencils have been really a godsend
isn't the song so soothing like i'm literally editing this video right now and listening to the music in between the moments that i'm speaking it really just makes me want to go to sleep and take a long nice little nap but i can't do that because i have a long day ahead of me I might have to squeeze in a moment where I just lay down on my bed and just close my eyes because even right now it seems like it's about to thunderstorm or something so the universe is plotting on me taking a nap. <laughs> One thing I always forget about Sharpies is that not only are they really strong colors, but because they're so strong, they leak through a lot of pages. So I had to make sure real quick that it didn't leak too bad onto the previous page, which my friend actually drew. So then I just start to use the markers that are more like just Target brand markers, just so I didn't have to battle myself later. over the petals that are blue with some purple just to give it a little bit more like vibrant petal feel. Sometimes with my drawings, I'm not the greatest at like background editing or background little details. So I just wanted to give the flowers like a little like aura of its own, which I felt like would be yellow, which could be kind of like a contradictory kind of point of view because it's a blue flower. Usually people see blue and they think sad, but actually these flowers aren't sad. They've embraced their blueness and they are happy with it and that's why they radiate the color yellow at least that's how i saw it so now that i have my doodle all done i've actually started a new series or something that i want to get into and embrace is i want to doodle something and then along with that doodle i want to just write like a slam poetry kind of paragraph so now i'm going to take a moment and read you what i ended up writing I popped open just a day ago. Did you see it when I fulfilled my role? I had no clue what color we would be, except for the extension of my leaves. I'm happy that I'm blue with a hint of purple, because it reminds me that I'm the center of a swirl. I've been created perfectly, and I fit so smoothly in my seat. I radiate the color yellow, it's so subtle that it is mellow. On the things I peep at such low heights when I'm down so close to the bugs that hide in the daylight, I'm cozy in this tiny spot of soil until the water rises and I start to boil. For right now, I can stand the heat since I am the one who took the first leap. And now the hike back up is so steep. Can you hold my seeds long after I'm gone? Are you able to sprinkle them all over when you meet the day you are sober? And we can repeat this all again like it never even had an end. Smile today and embrace tomorrow and see how there is no sorrow. As you can see, the poem kind of goes along with the doodle itself, but sometimes the poem has nothing to do with the doodle. Sometimes it's just me ranting about something or just me having my thoughts flow down on a page and sometimes rhyme, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so that's my little poem. Like I said before, I wanted to start a series of doing like a picture or painting and then doing like a slam poetry that goes along with it. Thank you for joining me today in my little artist vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see any more of this type series art vlogs.
other than that, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see y'all next video.